to Studio From Home with the Art Gallery of Nova Scotia. My name is Priya and I'm an arts instructor here. Today I'm going to show you a fun and simple art activity that you can do at home. We are going to make a collage of the inside of a room focusing on perspective and the feeling of the artwork. This art is based on the work of Canadian artist Vicky Alexander, who creates the illusion of perspective with bold patterns. Her work here is called Stormy Living Room, and it's from the Art Gallery of Nova Scotia's permanent collection. In this next piece, she creates a similar perspective with lots of windows and a ceiling, and this time a flower patterned for a carpet. Her color choices here are warm with the red, a yellow sunset, the orange door, the yellow flowers, and this makes the room feel warm and cozy. Let's get started with the collage. For this artwork, you will need a ruler, some scissors, a pencil, an X-Acto knife and an adult to help you with it, an eraser, some glue sticks, a cutting mat if you have it, or just an old piece of cardboard too, a thick piece of cardboard, a sheet of paper to assemble your collage on, and an assortment of paper. I have some old magazines here with different colors in them. I have some construction paper here too, and I also have some old artwork as well as some old photographs that I cut up. First need a blank sheet of paper to be your background. Next, cut out a rectangle to fit half the sheet of your paper. This will be the floor of your room. The first step here is to create the angled walls in the room. On the sheet of paper, draw three lines, one, two, and three. This will be the side wall. Next, using an X-Acto knife or scissors, cut along the lines. Now we have the brown rectangle for the floor and the yellow-orange side wall. Cut out another rectangle from your pattern paper or magazine. This will be the ceiling in your collage. The last rectangle will be the view from the window. I chose a fall scene from an old photograph. The short edge of this rectangle will be the same length as the short edge of the side wall. Now we have all the parts of the room and are ready to glue them down. Now you can start adding details to your room. I'm going to add a frame to my window. You can also add dimension to your side wall by adding details. Here I cut out some thin rectangular shapes from my magazine and I'm adding a pattern to the side wall. We would love to see what you create. Please don't forget to tag us on social media and stay tuned for more lessons from Studio From Home with the Art Gallery of Nova Scotia.